were singing that song live from the ground up. Uh, Ryan and Christy in the morning <laughs> on 107.7 GNA because Dan and Shay is joining us right now. And on Facebook Live. So thanks to Dom's Pizza Subs and Wings with two locations in Latham and Stillwater. It's home of the 24 cut. Had to get it. I can eat all 24 cuts. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that was beautiful. Pizza <laughs> challenge? I swear I'll do it. Don't tell me. It's on you the have to fight me again for pizza, though. That's my thing. Oh, I'm getting 24. You can get 24. Right, Everybody gets 24. <laughs> sure, Dom, sure, check sure. it out. You get 24. Who's the, who's the bigger eater out of you guys? I'm a bigger eater? Yeah. Dan's the better eater, and I'm, I'm probably the bigger eater. You got it. When it comes to pizza, though, uh, we can take some pizza down. Well, like, just the other day was that ridiculous Nathan, Nathan's hot dog eating contest, right? Oh Joey Chestnut. I can't even watch it. It makes me a little bit sick. It has to it's make rigorous. you a little bit sick, right? Yeah, they're not even eating it. They're just swallowing hot dogs. Right, and they're dunking the bread. Like, it's, what are they uh, doing? It's not a good vibe. Have uh, you thought about how many you could eat in 10 minutes? I don't eat meat, so zero. So zero. So zero. I, can, zero. I can take a dog or a dog down. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Sure, a veggie dog. How about that pizza? <laughs> can we? Can we? I just like that interview. This is the downfall of. Facebook Live once again. Thanks, Dom. No, right. <laughs> By the way, amazing. Is that the secret to having amazing hair? Dude, I went extreme on it today. It's, like it's it. insane. I literally just got out of the pool like 30 minutes ago. Can I touch it? Oh yeah, come on. Because it doesn't look like there's any it's like, it's like I mean, you can go just okay, pass through it and stuff. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. First we started out, this was a pizza commercial, now it's a shampoo. It's truly amazing, and I'm thinking to myself, it's not even humid here. Like, is the there's low humidity, yet that hair is... He went swimming, so like the chlorine does do something to your hair. Make it magical and majestic. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like a unicorn's mane. Right. Both of you guys, by the way, great hair. Okay. Yeah, I didn't touch that because that's really flawless. If you were to yeah, yeah th this one's a little bit uh, harder. I got like a lot of hair. It's hard as a rock. Can I do it? Yeah, check it out. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's yeah. a good yeah. That's a good one. She cuts one. her hand like <laughs> We are uh, we're here with, uh, with Dan and Shay as we're getting set for uh, for like an incredible rest of the evening here. Things are just getting started. Uh, Carly Pierce is on the stage right now. She's uh, amazing. Maddie and Tay, and then of course you guys, and then Rascal Flats. But let's talk about everything that's transpired in your career in the past, would you say, year, year and a half? Yeah, Two man. Years? This is off the charts. Thank you. you. First of all, thank you guys for always supporting us, man. It means a lot. And yeah, we just put out a, in the country. It's crazy, man. Here you say that out loud. It's, it's amazing, man. The last year has been crazy for us. And, Dan hasn't slept in about two years working on this this self title record. Just put out. I haven't gotten a haircut either. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No That's the product of, uh, of okay. a lot of hard work. But man, we're, we're so proud of this album, and it's been crazy, uh, you know, to see the fans' reaction and you know putting out new music. We haven't put out new music like I said in you know two years, so it's been a pretty incredible uh, journey, you know, to this point. And being able to finally have that out in the world, you know, it's like you work on it for so long, and then you know it's after that, it's like all right. You can finally kind of be at peace with it because it's too late now. You can't change anything else. But uh, yeah, Dan, Dan would probably still go back and change mixes on songs well, right now. Dude, <laughs> sometimes I do. Yeah. He's, so he he's alluded. He's crediting you for. I produced the record. Yeah, produced yeah, the record. Yeah. When when a song like Tequila is finished, and you're it's now never finished. <laughs> yeah. So they still redoing well, it. Crazy, yeah. So this is an interesting point. So when you hear that song on the radio, that that's like that, that's a perfect song, perfect melody, the lyrics. The more you hear it, the more the lyrics sort of mean something to you. Like the song kind of make grows it feel good. Yeah. Come on, that's, that's the truth. What else does it make? The more I, it's not just a song that you hear and you like. It's a song that the more you hear it, the more you start to feel it, and that's when it becomes a smash, which it has right now. But when you hear it, what would you like? What like, could you hear possibly want to do differently with that? I went in pretty hard on that one. There's like 132 <laughs> tracks going on in that one. Um, it. It was the most mixed revisions I've ever done on a single song. It was like a lot of work, so I feel like really, really confident about that one. Like I don't think I would change anything about it. Um, you know, it's you always do a separate mix for radio whenever you ship it off the radio, and I was like, no, the, the mix we did for the record is the right one for radio, and super confident about it. And it's uh, it seems to be reacting. It's it's awesome. But it, you know, on our song from the ground up, actually, there are like three little things I changed from when we did the album to when we sent it to radio. Like there were three little errors, like, I wouldn't call them errors, there were things that only a person as senile as me <laughs> would, would notice, but it was just, like, little, like, noises of, like, the grand piano, like, a foot slipping off of the pedal on the piano that I could hear in the <laughs> stereo mics. I'm a weird guy, I got problems. Wow. Uh, but I changed three things on the mix, so there's, like, two different mixes that no one, I, I played it for my wife a bunch of times, she's like, you should check yourself into it. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly what I was going to say, like, is, you know, are you 
sleeping the whole time, Shay? Like, yeah, yeah. I've been like, what are you doing? Last two years. <laughs> like, if I could sing like him, I'd be sleeping too. Man. <laughs> it's hilarious to watch because awesome. uh, there will be like, you know, we'll have Dan and uh, Dan and this guy named Scott Hendricks. He, he'll be in there and he kind of has crazy ears too. Like him and Dan will hear things that are like no normal human would ever hear. Me and John Esposito, the president of our label, will be. There's actually a picture I think on our last record of us. Dan and, uh, and Scott are up there at the board listening to mixes and stuff, and they're with a the mixing engineer and everybody, and Dan's doing like changes, and me and me and Espo are back there like, this sounds incredible. And they're like, it's not right! Ah, I was like, this sounds like, what are you talking about? It sounds so good. Do you yeah. ever work on a song for so long that you become sick of it and think there's no way that this thing can become a hit? You sort of lose perspective. Um, you know, we worked so hard on this record, so many hours, I mean years, put into this record, just writing the songs and doing the tracks, and you kind of lose perspective of it. I texted Shay. Uh, kind of recently, like when the when the album came out and fans were going nuts for it, I was like, I think we got something special here because you you know you're excited about the songs when you write them and you put the tracks down, but you work so hard on them, like editing every note, like lining up all the kick drums, all the you know idiosyncrasies of making a record, and then you're like, is this even good? Like, did I spend like three months of my life working on this? Is it even good? You're, and you hope it is. It's kind of one of the most nerve wracking moments when you drop that song like at midnight or whenever it comes out or whenever it premieres on the radio station. It's you kind of lose it a little. You're like, are people going to like it? And then it's so validating when they do like it. And then you get to go on the road and you see fans singing the words back to you. That's like, you kind of know you did something right. So it's a, it's a cool feeling for us. It's a full circle moment. And to have a number one song on the radio, is that's a dream come true. So number thank you guys one. for making that happen. Yeah, yeah, you guys, everybody watching on Facebook Live and all of you listening right now to us as we talk to Dan and Shay. A side note about Tequila. Um, what about the remix, the EDM remix? Do you like it? Were you like, yeah, this is good. I, can it's I pick that thing good. apart for you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I live for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're right with that? We facilitated it. Okay. Yeah, it's I awesome. thought so, but I wasn't 100% sure. I thought maybe you know one of your friends came in and go, hey, man, I can put these beats behind it. And you're like, I've been working on no. Is the purpose of something like that is that just to just to give it a little, you know, a little thump in some clubs to send to like pop mainstream radio? Like, is that your way of thinking when yeah, you do a remix the... to that? No, it's just you know we've had fans that like fell in love with the original version and we did the original version in a certain way for a certain reason. You know, we put the exact BPM of it. You know, the vocals, the key, everything was well thought out. You know, it was very intentional. With something like that, it's like if we can reach a new audience. You know, for example, if you know, there's a DJ playing for DJ Silver, our buddy DJ Silver. He goes out and tours with Jason Aldean, and he bumps up-tempo stuff like rock and tracks, you know, in the summertime. And, you know, a song like Tequila, which is a little more piano-driven, kind of, you know, mid-tempo based kind of thing, is maybe not going to get played in that playlist. So to have something like the Rehab Remix that we just did gets a spun there, gets a spun possibly in a late-night honky-tonk, you know, against some things that are more up-tempo, more rocking, and, uh, you know, for familiarity for the fans, it's a, it's a cool thing, you know, it reaches a new audience, and maybe somebody hears that track and comes to our page, and they can hear the original version and fall in love with that, so yeah. it's just broadening it, and, uh, you know, wherever it goes, awesome, if somebody wants to turn it up on a boat on July 4th when we dropped it, like, great, it's awesome, man, more people listen to our music, we'll take it. We're here with Dan and Shay, uh, do you guys, ha have you had any thoughts, I mean, Florida Georgia Line, you know, they have openly discussed they would entertain the idea of doing something like Cardi B. We talked to Morgan Wallen a couple of weeks ago, um, and he's, you know, whatever. We have people from the outside of the country world, you know, kind of recognizing that, you know, they, they're loving what we're doing. Like, that's really cool for us, and we're always down to, to make good music, you know, and we don't dis discriminate of whatever genre it is. Like, we, you know, we love all kinds of music. Yeah, so. and, and, you know, don't obsess too much. I mean, how can I say that? You, you obsess, <laughs> and now you have the number one country song. Yeah, hey, right? Thank Congratulations. you, Congratulations. Thank you for supporting us. Oh, without a doubt. It's beautiful. I mean, we can't we wait can, to watch it tonight. I cannot wait to see it tonight. Uh, it's so really fun. We, we did hear sort of behind the scenes that Rascal Flat sort of has been very passive aggressive with you guys. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, we might let him uh, open up a show or headline, <laughs> headline yeah, for us. Yeah, so it's, it's very <laughs> passive aggressive. <laughs> no, they know where you're at. So that's a no. Uh, that's all cool. Yeah, that's awesome. We love those guys. Yeah. It's so fun to be out of tour with them. They're crazy. Have you talked to them yet today? No, no they're, they're next. I'd, probably I'd, have, I'd run while you can. Oh. <laughs> yeah, are, we gonna, yeah. are we gonna lose control of the interview? You think you will oh. not be able to use this. I wouldn't suggest a Facebook Live. <laughs> no, uh, you're, you're not gonna be able to take that off. Yeah, yeah. Ask them about the hot dogs. <laughs> 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 